Hey everyone, what's going on? Vega here for Serpent X Tech, and it's time for our monthly series of what was the most profitable cryptocurrency to mine throughout the first month of 2022, January 2022. And January was actually a very disappointing month. We fell quite a bit from our all time highs. We've seen as low as around 30K, 32K, somewhere in there. And Bitcoin and much of the altcoins have picked up from that position but profits were way down. I actually changed the GPUs in which we're allocating or getting this data for, and that is six RTX 3060s and six RX 6700 XTs. They're relatively close to one another, and because LHR cards are more available in the market, so to speak, than full hash rate cards, I had to change it up a little bit. So it's six 3060s and six RX 6600 XTs. Now, as far as profitability right now at time of filming uh right now the 3060s will get you about eight dollars and 29 cents six dollars and 56 cents after electricity whereas the 6600s will get you seven dollars and 92 cents six dollars and 77 cents after electricity so these cards are very close to each other and i kind of find them middle of the road middle of the pack type gpus now the 6500 xt was very disappointing and then 3050 was a little bit lackluster, but it's still, I guess, an okay card. It really depends on who you're talking to. Uh, I did reviews or provided my thoughts on those videos or on those cards if you want to check out those videos. Otherwise, what were the top 10 most profitable coins to mine? Well, we saw that the zero currency, a ProgPal variant, take over the number one spot besides Ethereum, which is going to be very interesting as we move throughout this year with the ETH merge upon us. Now, I look at the data and provide it to you to help us draw conclusions on what projects we probably should be focusing on or mining in the future. It's really going to be up to you to make that decision. And I'm really interested to see how things shake out with the merge upon us uh, in a few months. But first off, the top 10 for NVIDIA GPU, remember this is the RTX 3060, were Ciro, Ethereum, Ergo, Ravencoin, Conflux, Firo, Xano, Flux, BitTube Cash and Cortex. Now remember Cortex, not all GPUs can mine due to the DAG size. So not all GPUs are able to mine it. However, we are able to do it. Now Attorney and Aeon were at the top towards the beginning of January. And this is when a lot of the profitability, a lot of people were shaken out because profits dropped so much. Moving on to AMD, the top 10 cryptocurrencies to mine for the month of January were Ethereum, Flux, Cortex, Firo, Equilibra, Ryo, Ergo, Conceal, Ethereum Classic, and Ravencoin. Now, Ravencoin um, has been one of the top coins to mine throughout 2021, but when we jumped into 2022, profits weighed down, everything taking a hit, a couple things being shaken up, Ravencoin kind of fell to the back of the pack, but it still is in the top 10 most profitable cryptocurrencies. Now, Quarkchain uh, and Ether1. Uh, if you like those projects, those were in the top 10 throughout much of the month, but then they fell off towards the end. Interestingly enough, we saw Aeon and Eternity pick back up at the end of January, but they weren't able to sustain something consistent. As far as the most consistent cryptocurrencies to mine to still make a profit, of course, Ethereum is in that, in that ranking, and it always has been for the past few years. Uh, so you can't go wrong with Ethereum. You can't go wrong with Ergo. Ravencoin, it may not be as good as uh, as it is on NVIDIA on AMD, but Ravencoin still is one. Uh, a ProgPal variant type coin like Ciro or Xano um, has been showing good performance. Flux doing very well on AMD, but not as good on NVIDIA, but it's still, again, both in the most profitable cryptocurrencies to mine. So pick and choose what you need or what products you're trying to focus on with the data provided. And come back each month where we do this series to hopefully help us draw conclusions on what we should be focusing on in the future. I always like to mine a mix of different cryptocurrencies. I still mine Ravencoin. I still mine Ergo. I mine Ethereum, Ethereum Classic. So I kind of bounce it between a, a very few amount of assets that I like to work and help secure the network on. But it's going to be up to you to make the best decision 
on your system, your setup, or whatever your circumstances is. But that's going to do it for me today. Please do me a favor on the way out. Hit the like button. Don't forget to get subscribed. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date with what's going on. As well as check out some links in the description that help support us in what we do here. You all have yourself a wonderful day. Take care. I'll catch you in the next one.